Hi, welcome to my video. In it I'm going to show you how you can watch um, the American media site Hulu from outside the US. Um, as you can see on my screen, if you try and visit Hulu and try to access any of the content, you'll get this message saying, sorry, blah blah blah, our video library can only be watched from the within the United States. This is for the uh, free version of Hulu, which is pretty good, and Hulu Plus as well. Okay, um, and if you try and go through, ignore that, try and go through the the videos you'll get a similar message here when you go onto the screen. Uh, the reason is because um, it, Hulu looks up your IP address um, when you connect uh, and if it sees it's not in um, the US you just get blocked so it doesn't matter if you're in Japan, Germany, UK like me or anywhere else, Canada even, anywhere outside the US you'll get this message. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay so as I said, it's looking up your IP address. Now, the way you can watch Hulu outside the US is by um, hiding your IP address. Now, you used to be able to use a simple proxy server, um, which there are quite a few free ones online. Um, this doesn't work with Hulu anymore. Um, the technology, they, they know people use these proxies, and Hulu can detect proxies. So you have to use either a, a, a security product, uh, which uses something like a, a VPN or an SSH tunnel, um, which is effectively the same, but Hulu can't detect where you're connecting from, and they can't connect you using a uh, proxy server. So let me just close that, and I'll show you the product I use. Um, I've tried loads. This is my favorite. Um, mainly because it's a proper piece of software um, and not just some guy with a VPN server on his um, home server. Uh, it's called an Entity Cloaker. It sits in my taskbar here um, and I use it when I need to use a secure connection or I need to change my IP address. Um, it has a list of servers that you can connect to. You can see here Swiss, German, Russian, loads and loads of UK ones, Italian, Californian and loads of US ones. Um, if I'm using it for security, I don't generally care which um, country I'm using it for. I just need it to protect my uh, connection. <coughs> if I want to watch Hulu, I need to connect through a US server. Okay, so I'm going to select one of the US servers. You can see the, the speeds are shown here. I'm going to connect one. Um, I'm not sure where that is, but it's quite fast. And I'm going to double click and let it connect through to this server. Okay, um, I'm also here, you can see at the bottom here, it's got encryption. Um, I, I'm only watching Hulu, so I don't really need any encryption. Uh, encryption s adds a slight overhead. Um, not much, but it's worth doing if you're watching video, uh, especially HD video. Okay, so I've now got a US IP address. I'm connecting through one of Identity Cloaker's US servers. I'm gonna minimize that, and I'm gonna start my browser again and I'm going to go back to Hulu. Uh, remember now Hulu will think I'm in the US. You can see I didn't get that message there. Uh, let me try and just click this really. Uh, Brooklyn 99 whatever that is and you'll see the program starts streaming through um, uh, without any problems. This is because Hulu thinks I'm now in the um, US and um, I can watch as normal. Um, I can disconnect the um, server, change to a different country. If I'm outside the UK I could use one of the British servers to watch BBC iPlayer, ITV, Channel 4, stuff like that. Um, it works for every single website that uses um, blocking, apart from one I found in the UK that are uh, um, actually blocked based on, um, uh, I, I did a special check, but uh, it's the only one I found in about three or four years of using this product that it blocked. It was called TV Catchup, I think, a UK server. Okay, and that's all it is to it. As I say, I can happily watch any um, US content using my subscription to Identity Cloaker. Um, and that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.